Okay, now in this next demo, what we're going to take a look at is the uh, cleaned up system tray and notifications area. Now, this is good. This really has been a source of annoyance for a long time. Not not just with Windows Vista, which made an attempt to, to clean it up, but really Windows XP as well. Uh, the system tray, of course, the area to the right that has my uh, icons that show which programs are, are running and it's just very, very tedious nature. Now, first of all, it's been very much cleaned up. And then second of all, it's made it, they've made it a lot easier to work with this. Okay, now let's just, we'll start at the right here. I've got my date and time. Uh, I've got my volume controls. Uh, nothing really special there. Same as with Windows Vista. We do have the mixer. If we have multiple programs opened up, I can adjust the, uh, the sound in each of those programs independently. Okay, nothing new yet. Uh, we have the network. Uh, area now here's where we can we start to have something new when we select that we actually have uh, the networks that I'm currently connected to and if there are any additional networks which that's too bad I, I thought that there would be usually here uh, at my home I've got a few in the neighborhood that I'm connected to so but if you have uh, any more uh, those will you know they'll just populate there in the list you'll get signal strength you'll get whether or not they're a secure connection those kinds of things makes it very easily or very, very easy, excuse me, to identify uh, hotspots uh, and access them. Also, and I don't see this either because I'm not connected to a uh, to a LAN connection to a wired Ethernet. But if you were, you would see the wired and wireless in the same location. Okay, of course, I have my battery power. All right. So at this point, doesn't look like I have a whole lot running yet. I do. I have VMware. Uh, I have. Uh, those kinds of things. Okay, we're going to uh, ignore this that warning there. Um, I've got VMware running. I've got Camtasia, the the uh, studio recording program running. I've got Outlook running. All of those things put items in the system tray. So where are they at? Well, we have the arrow, show hidden icons, and we've got those icons in the system tray. Okay, but they've been placed down here. So I have a couple of other things running now. What, hap what if I want to put an icon in the system tray area, such as Outlook? Okay, very easy. Just click, drag. Okay, just like our taskbar, we can move these things around. We can order them in whatever way we would like. Okay, what if I don't want my battery power showing up? Very easy. Click, drag. As soon as I drag, that menu pops up. You can move those around. This is really, really uh, pretty pretty slick, I, I think. One of the things that does show up automatically, uh, which I had just previously taken away, is something called the Action Center. It's a little flag. Okay? When you click on or hover over the flag, it tells you, here's, here's a message. Here's what you got. Set up backup. Okay? Before I installed antivirus software, it said you need to install antivirus software. But no more annoying pop-up messages uh, telling you you need to do these things. Uh, instead, you simply have this flag. If you're tired of the flag, just click and drag and move it down, uh, and you don't have to uh, to worry about that. Okay. Now I have full-blown customize here. I'll go ahead and click that just to show you an idea of what that looks like. This looks very much like Vista. This is what I want to see. This is what I don't want to see. Uh, you know. But as I said, there it's it's actually much easier to just take, click, and drag to move in to move out. You know, I do want my power, I do want my network, I want to order them in a specific way. Very, very easy uh, to do that. Okay, so the taskbar has been significantly uh, cleaned up. Okay, now take a look at the uh, the desktop. They made a few things easier here uh, in the desktop. One of the new things is with their themes, there are several desktop backgrounds. We can flip from background to background or it'll auto-rotate. All right, probably not that big of a deal, but kind of kind of cool, all right? You can right click and you can go to personalize, which will allow you to access all those themes. Now they've got a new screen resolution, which lets me quickly and easily change uh, that. Personally, it annoyed me to go into personalize, go down, find screen resolutions. That's a very common thing for people want to do. Uh, so let's just allow you to change it. Also gone is the Windows sidebar. Uh, it's not a separate program. Now, notice I do have a clock uh, loaded here, you know, but it's no longer a separate program. So, when you right-click the desktop, uh, you can uh, choose gadgets, 
uh, that you want to have. You can add those gadgets, just close this, move those gadgets really anywhere, uh, anywhere that you would like to move them. You can uh, locate them on the right hand side and kind of anchor them there. And of course I have uh, the same type of abilities as I as I had before. Once again, in the area of performance, Vista never used the gadgets. Okay, don't really need the clock, don't necessarily need an RSS feed. It really seemed to bog down performance in Vista. Windows 7, on the other hand, I've yet to see uh, a, a, a drastic performance decrease with having these open. Okay, last thing, we're going to open up a couple of Word documents here. Okay, so I'm going to utilize my uh, taskbar item. I'm going to open up a, a demos document here. I'm going to open up uh, this article uh, just to show you something. Okay. Now we got a couple of things. Okay. First of all, if we double click on the title bar of a uh, a document, then what we see is if it's maximized, it goes to a uh, restore down. If it's not maximized, then it becomes maximized. Okay, so I want to see this in max form. Just double-click taskbar. Don't worry about hitting uh, the. Excuse me. Don't worry about hitting the restore down. Okay. Now, if I want to move it to the right-hand side of the screen, okay, we'll just double-click to restore it down. We'll bounce it over here. We'll grab the one beneath it, bounce it over here, and look what it did. It put those items side by side to one another. Want to see one over top of the other? Double click it, maximizes it. Okay, you got multiple windows open. Let's grab a bunch of these windows. Um, we got ESPN here. We've got the uh, Exchange Server web page. I got a bunch of items open right now. I just I want to go and basically minimize everything but this uh, one. Okay, so I'll drag this over here. Notice it automatically resized it. This is one of my favorite. Kind of corny, but a cool feature. Left click, grab the title bar, shake. Seriously, called the window shake. That automatically minimized everything else. Gave me this document, double click, it's maximized. Cool, you want to see your desktop? Arrow peak, click that, everything else goes away. All still open, you know, all still up here on the, uh, on the taskbar. Represented by their icons, very easy to get back to them but you want to get rid of everything else, just Windows Shake. Beautiful. So desktop enhancements, uh, notification area enhancements, arrow P gadgets, need I go on? Guess what? There's more. Uh, we're going to move into another area. This is a brand new way of organizing files and folders in Windows 7. It's called libraries. It's going to change the way you do things. I guarantee it. Yeah.